Happy New Year from Chartway Arena, home of the ODU basketball programs. I'm Ted Alexander, the ODU Hall of Famer, Dave Twardzik here. Different feeling in the building tonight, Conference USA play. Well, the players felt it, the fans felt it, and, and it showed throughout the game when we gave them something to get excited about. The crowd got into it. Monarchs hadn't played since that win over UMES on December 22nd. You thought, all right, is there going to be any lull or anything like that? They came out and played well. They really did right from the beginning. And the, the strongest part was the defensive end, defended very well, took care of the ball, and that was a big concern going into this game. Offensively, Xavier Green got the team off to a fast start. Jason Wade and A.J. Oliver also doing it on the offensive side. Well, we actually dominated on the inside, and most of that damage was not done by our bigs. It was done by Jason Wade playing. Posting up. Monarchs had an 18 point lead at the intermission, extended it in the second half to as many as 20, but give Middle Tennessee credit. They battled back with their zone defense and got right back in it, cut that deficit to 12. Ted, we talked about it at halftime. They missed some shots and not just badly missed. They were rattled in and out. We talked about the law of averages. They came out in the second half and they hit shots, plus they changed their defense a little bit, which bothered us. And the Monarchs, once they weathered that storm, got the lead back up to 25 with 10 minutes to go. Go. Thanks in part to a career high from Jason Wade, a career high 19 from uh, A.J. Oliver. Jason's career high was 21. But then middle came back again. They hit shots. They were contested shots. They were three-pointers, <clears throat> and they were deep. They were not just three-point line. They were four or five feet behind. So you just have to understand when somebody gets hot, you have to close out harder. The 25-point lead was whittled down to seven, but the Monarchs hit their free throws down the stretch. Malik Curry, six for six. A.J. Oliver, eight for eight down the stretch, and they win 70 to 60. A nice sort of character builder. Without a doubt. I mean, it was very easy for Middle Tennessee to fold a couple times throughout the game but also for us when they made their run and cut it to seven instead of panicking stayed with the game plan true sign of the holidays not only the monarchs win their one and oh in conference usa but grandpa dave getting sick but hanging in there I'll and not right. throwing his little granddaughter under the bus for bringing the germs to the house i'll be okay and i'll be here saturday too you heard it here first monarchs by 10 to open conference play